Time for talk is over. You ready? Strike. Time to chuck leather. First round. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, beautiful. Kicked by Johnson, blocked by Rasta. Oh, heads up. Fainting early. Body kick lands for Rasta, grazing the body of Johnson. Front kick lands for Rasta. You can hear the commentary of Dwayne Johnson. I don't, I don't want to say a word. I want to hear his next comment because he's, he is definitely mouth to mouth to Dalton. not here and just marching down, looking for his moment. Rasta and Johnson at close quarters looking to land the haymakers early. Both of them with three knockout wins on their respective resumes. Now Johnson looking to reset as he circles to his left. To be careful walking into that power alley of the right hand of Rasta. Yeah, he does keep circling himself to the power of Rasta because he wants to throw that left kick. Instead it's a right kick thrown by Rasta. Minute and a half gone in the opening round. There's a right hand that lands. Stagger Johnson. One two again by Rasta. And Rasta and one high. And good defense as well, avoiding the shot of Johnson. Johnson's recovered from it. He can be put right back on to that slippery slope. Yep, Johnson one shot. has never been finished. Three minutes left in the opening round, and Rasta continues to try to walk down. Johnson trying to put the pressure. Check right hook there by Johnson, moving now to his right. Much better when you're looking at it, because again, he started circling off towards the power of Dalton Rasta. That's how he got in trouble with that one shot. Rasta going to the body with a quick right hand. Using that jaw, jab, pine, past the midpoint of the opening round. Well, the, the body shots that Rasta is throwing, those can definitely help in the later rounds. And that left hand lands for Rasta, and Rasta crashes. The distance here now just collapsing on Johnson, the body lock looking to take him down. Crushing the space quickly there, John. Yeah, but yeah, and a lot of people say, well, why is he going into a clinch at that point? Just because he goes into a clinch doesn't mean he's actually even looking for the takedown, but he's making Johnson now have to think about it and have to react to it. Not a bad idea by Dalton Ross. There were to be a work in progress for Ross. It would be his submission game, but again, one of the best camps, American top team murderers row up and down. Johnson with Sanford MMA under Henry Hoopso. Two great camps being represented here in this fight. Yeah, Johnson used to work out at Black House with guys like Leo Machida. He's been in there inspiring with some of the best guys there are. There was that left hook to the body and Rasta just missed with a right uppercut. What you're really seeing right now, Mo, is there is a difference in speed. Dalton Rasta is just a little bit quicker with his hands, a little more accurate, and that is the difference in this fight right now. I like all the kicks that Dwayne Johnson is trying, but he's got to get out of the habit of circling towards the power of Dalton Rasta. Pressure by Rasta, forcing Johnson to fight off the back foot, gets clipped with the left hook. And there's another one and right hand by Rasta. So Rasta getting the better of the striking exchanges here in the first frame. And you can see just the the by Rasta. Look at the balance at times when a guy's taking a step. It's telling you if he's hurt or not. Final half minute. Johnson calling Rasta a rookie. Trying to mess with Rasta's head, trying to play the mind games while Rasta's taking care of the striking game. And Rasta diversifying up and down. Absolutely, that's, the whole, that's what you're seeing right now. He has been using that attack to the body very well. Rasta just needs to stick with one oh, wow. shot. Don't hit him the game. Hook kick to the body. Some panache at the end of round one from Dalton Rasta. But Rasta.
Acosta getting the better of the striking exchanges. Fight. And keeping his attack unpredictable, going upstairs and downstairs, mixing in the kicks, scored the lone knee strike in the opening round as we begin round at number two. Well, both guys were able to land and land some good strikes, but it's a matter of the heavy strikes for the most part landed by Dalton Rosman. Oh, heavy kick landed by Johnson. Right. And Johnson lands a left hand. Rasta continues to come forward. 30 seconds gone in the middle frame. Low kick by Rasta. Rasta shoots in for the double, secures it. Nice job of bouncing him off of the cage with all that power, going straight down to the legs. Put him on his back. What we see all the time now in MMA, get his back away from the cage so he cannot use it to get himself back to his feet. Rasta began wrestling at seven, wrestled freshman year at Seton Hall University, a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu purple belt. Delivering shots to the body and to the head with his right hand. Johnson controlling Rasta's posture. Wide base by Rasta, stacking Johnson. Short elbow strike across the jaw by Rasta. Rasta doing a good job of keeping his head position over the top of Dwayne Johnson. That allows him to bring more power in his shots. A lot of control right now. Now into the half guard. Underhook up top. Coach Mike Brown. Giving some instruction to Dalton Rasta. Yeah, Pablo, good job, good job. Yago Alvarez there in the middle. Now, it, now you can pass. Yeah. Yeah, nice and loose. Keep that up. Action. Get your knee free. Hey, keep your underhook. Nice your knee. Underhook. I'm sorry, nice elbow. Use your shoelaces now. Use your, use your shoelaces to pass. Let's go. Let's advance. When he's talking about shoelaces on that. He's trying to tell him to push that knee down, slide, and bring his foot over the top to control the leg. So when he goes, he can either go, slide into side control or right in the mouth. Past the midway point of the round and the fight. Rasta from top position working on Dwayne Johnson, looking to try to pass into side control. Nice job of controlling that arm. Look where that leg position's at. Might be going for an arm triangle choke, setting him up. And again, we talk about the submission game being a work in progress for Rasta. Yet to record a submission win. Under two minutes left in the second. Rasta allowed him to put him back into a full guard here. That's not where he should have been. He should have kept that half guard. Better position for him. Unless you're going to try to crush the space and crush the position like right here, putting a lot of pressure and landing big shots. Stacking Johnson up, putting all the pressure on Johnson. Dalton Rasta goes to the back now. Johnson back on his back, back in half guard. But being forced to wear the, the weight, the pressure of Dalton Rasta. Greatest strength he feels is his belief in himself, his ability to impose his will on his opponent, doing that in this fight against Johnson. Yeah, he is, but one of the things that we're really seeing, and what we've seen this in the past, is at the beginning, he was unable to control his pace and how fast he was going. Now he's doing that. You see him at times. He's oh, to looking to go right to full mount. To the mount. And now he does it, but Johnson using the fence. Good job to scramble, but eating some left hand. For his effort. Yeah, that was three left hands he ate right in a row. Dwayne Johnson, a full gamer, man. He has got no quit in him. He just cannot hit Dalton Rasta from being on top of him. And despite being 33, this is just his ninth professional fight, so his lack of experience. And yet, still more than the 26 year old Dalton Rasta, who was in his sixth professional fight looking for a sixth straight win. Johnson 
is going to have to make adjustments in the third and final round. Third and final round. Kick by Arasta to begin the final frame. And a sense of urgency necessary for Dwayne Johnson, knowing he has to know he's behind. And uh, it was all Rasta when it came to ground control in that second round. You're going to see Rasta looking to open up with the strikes, but he's going to be leading it towards getting back into those grappling situations. And Johnson again going to his left. And there's that lead right missing for Rasta. Rasta really needs to follow up off of that lead right. You see him throw the lead right, leave it hanging. He comes, he needs to oh, and right left connects for That's what I'm talking about. Man, fighting down and delivering those shots with bad intention. John, Dwayne Johnson, time is ticking away. Well, it is ticking away from him, but right now he just doesn't have an answer based upon the power of Don Rasta. How does he come up with one? Well, he's got to open up those strikes like you're saying, but use that team kick that he's been throwing, throw that team kick, and then take a step and land that straight left. You've got to start opening up. He's throwing the kicks, but the hands just are not fighting the mark right now. And the pressure and the power of Rasta perhaps muting the offense of Johnson, making him think twice, and all of a sudden, very silent in the third and fine round, not flapping the gums anymore. Oh, right hand clips him. He was moving away, taking steam off the shot. He's taking some shots, but he is showing you know, he's got a good chin. And now Dalton Rasta beginning to feel comfortable wanting to try to put on a dynamic offensive display. Well, it does need to be stated. Dwayne Johnson took this fight last minute. This was, uh, he, Dalton Rosto was supposed to be fighting someone else, so the fact that he's in the third round and still fighting, didn't have a full camp to be able to prepare for that, you gotta give it to him. He's still in there fighting hard. Talked about Rosto looking for a Dynamic offense, looking for that flying knee strike there. 220 left in the third. Oh, right hand again. There goes for Rasta. There you go. You got to go with that left hook and that uppercut off that right hand. Don't just throw the single. Under two minutes left in the fight. He left hook lands for Rasta, and no return fire from Johnson. Johnson from a southpaw stance. I'm sure Johnson's arms are heavy right now. He's been in a hard fight, had a lot of weight on him. He's pushed a lot. And he's eaten some heavy shots from Dalton Rasta. Minute and a half left in the fight. There's Rasta again, looking for the flashing finish. Too much movement on that kick for it to land. He cannot telegraph it. It's just a little bit too much. It needs to be a little bit tighter for that to be successful. Final 60 seconds, and again, Rasta, star on the rise, would love to try to close the show. You said it. Johnson taking the fight on short notice. 33 years of age, not a full camp. Yes, he's got heart, he's got grit, but it's up to Rasta to showcase all of his skills. That's it. And he's doing so. Rasta just starting to open up a little bit more. Rasta has to have it in mind. Right now, he doesn't have it in his mind to finish this fight. He's got it in his mind. I've won two rounds. You always need to be looking towards finishing the fight. And I think I would wager he's won three rounds with 15 seconds left here in this fight. 
Nice knee up the middle. And the Superman punch by Rasta. So Rasta trying to deliver some flash in the final moments of the fight. They go the distance. Perhaps a moral victory for the 33-year-old Dwayne Johnson. But unless the judges saw something we didn't, Dalton Rasta should remain undefeated to kick off his 2022 campaign. Yeah, no doubt about that. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go now to your three judges at cage side, where all three, Eric Curcio, Anthony Manis, Chris Lee, have it exactly the same 30 to 27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, Dalton Hercules Rasta. Dalton Rasta pitches a shutout, remains undefeated to start his MMA career. He is 6 and 0. Oh, all of his pro bouts coming inside the Bellator MMA cage. Let's go back to Amanda Guerra.